Hello everyone and welcome to my new video of pattern full stackers for beginners. So let's get started. So guys in this video we will be seeing how we can implement this bot on uh, discord and also some other functions like shutting down, restarting and going offline function. So let's try get into it. So firstly we are going to create one elf statement and we are going to state if my shutdown is in my query what i'm gonna do is firstly i'm gonna ask if he she surely wants to shut down the system or not like if someone by mistake says shut down just for trying and if its system got shut down then it's not right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna say if my input so i'm gonna take an input and so i'm gonna say press enter to proceed and after this i'm gonna say if my input blah 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 is equal to an empty string means the person entered enter so i'm just gonna say my os which we imported earlier or firstly we're gonna speak that's right now after this we're gonna say os dot system and in the system we are gonna say shut down with slash s slash t and one so this is just gonna shut down the system these are some encodings so it works right you can even try it yourself and after everything has happened we are just gonna pass like let's say if the person didn't enter enter and then he enters something else then it's just gonna pass and after that we are just gonna pass so that like let's say i don't want to shut down after that i need to pass it like we did in every command and we are just gonna copy it and paste it two times over and we're gonna change it to log out or you can change it to log off or you can create an or statement for that and we're gonna say adisha wanna log off and press enter to proceed if it's that then we are just gonna say logging off the system it will just say and we just need to change it to minus one We'll, I'll just remove all of it and I'll just say shut down minus one. So that's all for logout and let's make one restart function. And if restart and query, then I'm gonna say Arisha wanna restart and press enter to proceed and we'll say restarting, restarting the system. And in this, instead of S, we just need to change it to R and that's it. Now let's create another function LS so it will just say going offline now and after this we are just gonna quit so this quit is just used to close the program like it will end at that very moment this is gonna make it this and i'm also gonna print out i'm just gonna print out sayonara now uh, you can change it always let's try running it also i'm not gonna say restart or shut down because obviously i have unsaved work on my system but i can obviously show you my go offline function so let's see what happens it's been trained good morning sire how can i help you at the moment go offline going offline now and sayonara and it's ended yeah that's what we wanted similarly i can also show you the shutdown functions so obviously i'm just gonna decline instead good morning sire how can i help you at the moment shut down so it says shut down and it asks for are you sure when the shut down press enter to proceed i'm gonna say something like this so that it's not enter and as you can see it just moved to the next command so i'm just gonna kill it so let's see how can we implement it to discord so guys i'm just gonna pretend that you already know how to implement a bot on discord that's why you're seeing how we can create an ai chatbot in discord so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create one, another playlist for how to create your own bot in discord and in that video in that playlist i'll explain discord bot in great details for now i'll just show that how we can actually use this in discord i just quickly made a token i just made a client to run i just imported some basic stuff i just imported the training stuff basically i just copied the text i would say and i made a client which is a bot object which is a commands.bot i imported and this is just a basic bot file and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna say add a client dot basically i use cogs so that's why i just made a different file because most of the people don't use cogs so it would be a bit of difficult for you guys 
to cope up with me so I just made a different file so I'm just going to create a non message function this is really straightforward uh, it will have a message object in its parameter so what I'm going to do is firstly I'm going to check firstly let's head over to discord and let's create one channel for the AI chatbot stuff So here is my server and I'm gonna create one more channel and let's name it AI Chatbot and I'm gonna make it private channel because I don't wanna disturb other people. Let's create the channel and um, skip for now. So I'm just gonna copy the ID of the channel and what I'm gonna do is let's maximize it. I'm gonna say if my message dot channel dot ID is equal to my channel ID which I just copied obviously you don't have to copy this ID because it's my channel ID then what I want to do is I also want to check if not my message dot author dot bot so I'm just gonna check if my uh, the message the one who typed is not a bot and why am I checking this because when I was trying this bot out then what happened was I didn't wrote this statement and actually the bot was talking to himself you can try it for fun but actually it's not that canny what happens is like bot sends a message it reads its own message and it replies its own message so it's uh, it goes on in a continuous loop so that's not what we want after this we are just gonna say my message message is what we want to send is equal to my chatbot dot get response and we're just gonna pass a message which is on message parameter dot content now what else am i doing is that this will return me a statement and i want a string so i'll i'll just write a string in front of it so that i can measure its length so i'm gonna say if if the length of my message is more than 100 then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna set my message to two dots so it's like a usual reply when you don't have a reply then sometimes we say double dot or you can just say according to yourself it's uh, but basically why am i doing this this is because sometimes the bot um the chatbot is not able to get the response and it just it just sends the message object in the ctx and we don't want that to send in the context so what are we going to do is we're just going to change the message to double dot and after this if the message is more then we are just going to change it to double dots else we are going to pass and after this we are going to say await and i'm just going to say message dot channel dot send and i'm just going to send my message and also one more thing one most important thing await client dot process commands and i'm just gonna pass my message so this line is must because when you are using such board without cogs then if you don't write this line then it won't inculcate your other command it's must to write this line it's not must if you use cogs but let's try running it now it's training the bot let's try something hi as you can see it responded with hello similarly i can say mm, i can't read ha. okay let's add something else like uh, how are you doing and if we write some stuff like this like uh, 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 like if i write some shit like this and then also it responds with one or the other thing so that's the benefit of using chat about module but sometimes it happens that it shows an error and it's something like let's say if i send hmm or something like that what do you want to know um <laughs> you know it works fine and it works brilliant i would say. okay so that's all for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it i will only be uploading my next video if my subscriber goal of 60 subscribers reaches by the end of the month of uh, february not january so i'll see you guys in the next video